What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another twin motion new feature tutorial for you. So in today's video, I wanted to take a little bit closer look at the mega scans assets that you can now access inside of twin motion. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So first off, as a lot of you know, mega scans is a big library of basically photo scanned materials and assets. Um, they come from a company called Quixel, who was acquired by Epic Games, and you can now access these assets live inside of Twin Motions. You can download them and use them really easily. And so this is Quixel's website. We'll come back to that in a second. Um, this is a great way to kind of get an idea of what's available inside of the Megascans library um, when you decide to start bringing those into Twin Motion. But first off, to access those, you can find them over here on the left hand side. You can see how there's a standalone option for Quixel Megascans. Right, so if you click on this, this gives you two options, right? It gives you options for 3D assets and it gives you options for surfaces. So when it says surfaces, what it really means is that means materials um, from Megascans itself, right? So these are different textures that you can bring in and apply to objects. Um, so first things first, if you click in here and you don't see anything, so if you click on any of these types and there's nothing in here, you may need to log in to Epic Games. So you need, may need to go to file, sign into Epic Games, and that may ask you for login information or my login information is saved, so I can just click on OK. Well, when you do that, now what that's going to do is that's going to actually access the Megascans library, right? So that's going to give you access to everything that's inside of that library from a model standpoint and from a material standpoint, I believe. I don't think you can bring in decals right now that I'm aware of. At least there's no option for that at the moment. But um, so once we take a look at this, um, one thing I don't like about this is these are all buried inside of folders, right? So like for example, if I click in here and I want to start looking at the different uh, objects that I can bring in, notice how they're all buried in here and there's no real images kind of indicating to you, like like really indicating like what's inside of each folder. So actually what I like to do, because I, I have multiple monitors on my computer, I actually like to pull up Quixel's website right here and I actually like to use their 3D assets in here to find the assets that I'm looking for because I can see images of them right so for example these are going to align so if we were to go to props for example and we were to go to let's say we went to wood you can see how this is what's going to be contained inside of the props wood well now I know that if I go in here into my 3D assets props wood I have an idea of what I can find. So that's just a personal preference thing. Um, I find it a little bit easier to find things that way. You don't have to do it that way at all. Um, it's fairly easy to find things in here. You could also just search for like different names. So for example, like sword under all, you can see how that's going to help you find things from inside of the Megascans library as well. So you can kind of do that however you want, but I find that to be helpful. Um, now let's take a look at what it's going to take to actually bring these things in. So let's say, for example, that we went into the building and let's go down and let's look at the combine function. So what I like about the combine function is there's actually kits that are in here that are pre-made that you can use in order to quickly add buildings. So for example, let's say we wanted to bring one of these in. So let's bring in this first floor kit. So the way that you can do that is you can just mouse over this and you can just click on the button for download. And so when you click on the button for download, what that's going to do is that's going to download this onto your computer. It's going to store it so that you can access it later. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I think it stores it based on something that you set in your preferences. So, so under your settings, under custom paths, you can set the folder that those are going to go into. But once this downloads these, you can just click and then click inside of your model in order to bring that in. Notice how the first time that you do that, it's going to do some data processing. So that's basically going to be it bringing in all of the textures and everything like that, setting up the maps the way that you need them to be. So once you bring those in though, you can access those and you can use them in order to quickly create things like buildings. So for example, um, first off, I'm going to hit the escape key to get out of placement mode. But if you look at these, you can see how you've got the different modular parts and pieces in here. So you can use this in order to quickly set up a building. So for example, let's say I wanted to align these edges or these objects like 
this, you can put them together in order to set them up as like building blocks. And let's make sure that everything's aligned so that I don't have a gap. But then you can do a control click in order to select all of these and you can hold the shift key and drag this in order to make a copy, right? And so I could create multiple different instances or different copies of this just by using the up button. So if I click on okay, you can see how what that did is that allowed me to really quickly create this first floor of this building. And if you wanted to, you could come in here and you could just select them all. So you could just mouse over this and hold the shift key and you could create multiple copies of this in order to create a multiple floor building. So making use of that modular stuff inside of that library can be a really quick way to add context in the background. So I really love playing around with those. We may do more with those in the future. The other thing I wanna take a look at real quick is I want to add a primitive. So let's add a 10 meter plane. So we're just gonna drag this in here like this. And I wanna take a real quick look at the materials that we can bring in. So Megascans has a really great library of materials, all of which you can use for free, by the way, inside of Twinmotion. But I'm just gonna click in here and look at my surfaces. Let's say, for example, that we wanted this to be, let's call it asphalt. Um, and we'll go ahead and call it fine asphalt for right now. And so what that's going to do is that's going to show me all of the options inside of the Megascans library under this asphalt. So in this case, let's go ahead and bring in the dried asphalt. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click on the download button right here. And that's going to download this image. And I believe, by the way, that these are coming in at the 2K resolution. Um, I think I read that somewhere. I'll have to go back and double check. But you're not getting the ultra high resolution stuff. But I would say if you want to use the ultra high resolution stuff, you should probably be taking your stuff into Unreal Engine anyway. So I think these look great. But I'm just going to drag this in and I'm just going to apply it to this surface. And so notice how, again, it's going to process that data real quick. And then once it's done with that, what it's going to do is it's actually going to show this material inside of your model. And so the cool thing about this is if you go into your settings, notice how the normal map and the height map are already automatically applied so that you can come in and you can kind of adjust this. And notice how with the new height mapping function that's in here, you're getting a really, um, you're getting a really nice like bumpy textured surface in here. If you adjust that bump, notice how it doesn't look as good. But if you do bring that up, you get the really nice like light reflecting where it should affect in here. So you can access all of these different materials inside of this library as well. So another example would be, let's say you wanted to bring in maybe like a wood board or something like that. And let's go ahead and download this uh, wood panels facade object. So now I can bring that in and it's gonna set up the object. But now I'm gonna have a nice wood material that's in here. It's like this. So bringing those materials in is really easy inside of Twinmotion now. And so one other thing about this is let's say that I sign out like this. So I'm currently not signed into Epic Games anymore. So if we look, Everything that we've already downloaded, so from like a surface standpoint, is still gonna be in here. So if I click on my wood board, notice how you can't download any more materials, but the wood facade that I have in here is already stored on my computer, so I can access that one. So let's go back to our asphalt real quick. So notice how while I can't bring in the smooth asphalt, I can bring the dried asphalt in that I already created. So you can access downloaded assets um, when you're offline or when you're not signed into Epic Games. So that's where I'm going to end this video. I'm super excited about this feature. One thing I would like to see from the guys over at Quixel is I would like to see a little bit more modern furniture and other things like that, maybe some trees. Um, that library has long been kind of set towards more like 
gaming assets, and I would love to see some more architectural and landscaping assets in there, but the library that they have is absolutely fantastic. It's some of the highest quality stuff you can get, and I'm really excited to see that inside of Twin Motion. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.